Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about quadrilaterals. Quadrilateral questions, while not very difficult, do expect you to understand some basic equations for the area of a quadrilateral, different types, trapezoid, parallelogram, rectangle, as well as solving for some angles within different types of quadrilaterals. The first type of quadrilateral I want to uh, introduce you to is the trapezoid. Trapezoids have one set of parallel uh, sides. As a result, the area of a trapezoid is probably the most complicated area equation and is given by base 1 plus base 2 over 2 times the height. Or you can think about it as the average of the bases times the height. Now there are such things as isosceles trapezoids. In an isosceles trapezoid, you do have two sets of equal angles. And oftentimes, you can use the alternate angle rules to solve for different angles within the trapezoid. So if you see an ang a trapezoid and they're talking about angles, Think alternate angles, and if you want to review that section in the angles video, please feel free to do so. The next type of quadrilateral I'd like you to be familiar with is the parallelogram. The parallelogram has two sets of parallel sides, and its area is defined as the base times the perpendicular height. Solving for angles in a parallelogram, again, you're going to have two sets of equal angles, and so you can use a, the alternate angle rules to solve for missing angles. So basically, if you're trying to find an angle in a parallelogram, extend the lines, and notice that you have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, transverse line, which will create basically two sets of alternate angles. Again, if, you, if you're not sure what I'm talking about with these alternate angles, please review the angles video and you can find out more. A rectangle is just a specific type of parallelogram in which not only we have two sets of parallel sides, but we have two sets of equal sides. Nice, uh, nicely, the all angles are going to be 90 and the area is going to be base times height. The square is the final parallelogram you need to be familiar with, or excuse me, quadrilateral you need to be familiar with. The square has got all four sides equal. And again, the area is going to be base times height. But since the, all the sides are the same, we can say it's side times side or side squared. We're now going to look at some questions dealing with quadrilaterals to help you master this type of question.